All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's hot out here in Texas. It's going to be 101 today, so um, pretty much done for the day out here. And it's 10:30 in the morning. So, but I haven't got a whole lot done on the mill because um, I've decided to scrape the ways. And uh, I wasn't going to do that, but then looking at it, and I got the I got the uh, column almost all done. See, it's just this side here. I had to clean this area out over here to get it done. But I just got this side here to do now. Um, it's coming along really good. I'm really happy with it. I still need to finish up some of the rust and all that. But uh, the important thing was was uh, getting it in here. And I still got to get it. I had it disassembled. I'm going to take it all back apart and uh, scrape the waste. Because there's just no way I'm going to not scrape the waste. They look horrible. And uh, I ordered a scraper, so I'm going to do it. I got getting all the materials together to do that then as we come in here I hope the light doesn't block you out because it's bright today okay you can see that there and uh, I got some of this cleaned up I'm, I'm working on cleaning it up because it's a hazard to my health and and I don't want to die so <laughs> you know there we go there's my big giant face plate and as you can see I got it off and here's my lathe now I don't know if you notice anything different. It's sitting up a wee bit higher. And uh, I added 14 inches to it because it was way too low and I kept hurting my back when I used it. And that's not good because I got a really bad back. So I had to raise it up some. Used the gantry crane. Now I can cut the gantry crane up and take it apart because I don't want it. I didn't like it. It's shabbily made and it's a dangerous hazard to my health. But as you can see, everything is now at a level especially for as big as this lathe is it's not done okay yes i know the cords in the way yes i know it's a hazard yes i understand all that i got my down and dirty chip pan down here <laughs> i hope you can see that but it's just a little drip pan that i got from uh oh crap autozone for nine dollars and uh since this thing didn't have a drip pan tired of walking on this crap and it's really not a, a chip pan as much as it's a uh, a uh, I drop my damn tool and I have to bend all the way over to pick it up and now it lands on the pan because it was sucking for that so now some more about the lathe now the lathe is yes it's a big giant 27 inch tornado lathe okay and uh, believe it or not that actually works at that height it really does I'm happy with it um, right now what I'm building is uh, To go for it see It's odd. I got this two horsepower motor on there and That's not enough. It's a it, minimum. It should have a five. There's the ten horsepower that goes with it It needs to be fixed. There's something wrong with it And that's a big pain in the ass and it's gonna cost me too much money right now. I don't have it and then uh, Of course, there's my stand. I'm really happy with that uh, the size and the height is almost absolutely perfect for what I needed it to do and I'm real happy with it So that's what I got going on right now uh, There's there's part of the arm. I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna put a, like a pick and hook on there and uh, I'm gonna weld it to that the foot down there and it's gonna come up and you'll have an arm I don't know if you can see this, but you're gonna have an arm that swings out over this and I'll be able to get anything to wherever I need it with this pick and hook Instead of using this gantry crane, because the gantry crane is a pain in the ass. It's in the way. I stumble over it. It's, I can't get to the stuff in the back here. In the back here. And, of course, there's my workbench, which is full of work stuff, of course, right? Here's my, my very speed head. There's a uh, one horsepower motor for the belt drive for this third head that I have. I got heads everywhere for this stupid thing. And uh, so I'm working on getting the garage cleaned up, working on getting everything to where I can use it again. Uh... It's just been a nightmare but you know how it is slice a bitch suck it up drive on and uh so here we go let's make it happen